we're going to be talking about some of my most expensive makeup products that I would buy again in a heartbeat. So <laughs> I'm a big believer in you don't need to spend a ton of money for products to be good. But I'm also a believer in the luxury beauty experience as well. So these products all give me the luxury beauty experience and I would drop some coin on these products again. Before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor for the video, which is Lily Silk. I've worked with them a couple times in the past as well. So I already know that I love the products. So I'm excited to be speaking about them again. Lily Silk offers a ton of different silk products from bedding to clothing to accessories. I've tried everything in every category. I have some Lily Silk products on my bed. I use their scrunchies. I'm wearing them right now. It's nonstop Lily Silk around here. Lily Silk is an environmentally conscious brand. They are working with TerraCycle and are committed to zero waste production, meaning the used fabric remains to make small accessories like silk masks and silk scrunchies, which are really good. I love my silk scrunchies. And they believe that not all silk is created equal and all products are clean and toxin-free with certification. So they have all of these different silk products across the board and some reasons why silk are really good for you is they help retain moisture in your skin and they help reduce wrinkles if you're using like a silk pillowcase it helps the hair become less frizzy because there's less abrasion with the pillow good for those with allergies and it's good to wear silk clothing because it helps regulate temperatures especially at night as well with pajamas and sheets if your partner is like a hot sleeper. I know mine is. <laughs> so silk is a great option for those things. Now when you do order from Lily Silk, they come in beautiful eco-friendly packaging. Oh my gosh, it really is a luxury experience. This is my first time since the last time I ordered getting their new packaging. And it is so beautiful and elevated. So some of the new products that I have, I'm wearing two of them right now. Let's first start off with the robe that you see right here. It is a silk robe. I actually didn't have a robe before this, so I'm going to be wearing this all all the time all weekend at the home I'm gonna have to wash it all the time but I love the pattern on it the color it feels really lightweight so it's perfect for the summer yeah this one is cute I can't believe I didn't own a robe before and I really like it oh I feel so luxurious in this and then the next item is a little bit more clothing based it is this collar top right here really cute it definitely feels very expensive and soft and you can style it a lot of different ways I thought it was really cute paired with a skirt. Doesn't it look so cute with the skirt? I love this outfit. I also paired it with some jeans to make it more casual. Uh, so that's a very simple piece, but it makes you look very put together. So I do enjoy this one a lot. Mine is in the size small, and I don't know if you can see up close, but it really is such a nice product. And then my favorite thing, I think. So this one size silk tank top with built-in bra is what it's called. <gasps> okay, so it's the same material as the one size wireless silk bra and I don't know if you recall the first time I worked with Lily Silk I got that bra and I was like oh my gosh you need to have it because I still wear it all the time I've ordered some more of my own I'm obsessed with that bra they now have it in the same material in a tank top style with a built-in bra so now I can feel like I'm wearing nothing and actually wear it out and for those of you who are petite like me or if you just struggle with straps in general there are adjustable straps for me I always need to shorten the straps but you can also elongate them as well. It's really comfy, so I'm excited to wear that out now, and I'm always too lazy to put on a bra, so I like that the bra is built in, and again, it's that silky, soft material, so it's super comfortable. Feels like you're wearing a cloud. If you do plan on picking anything up, Lily Silk is currently having their 12-year anniversary sale, so if you use the code Morgan Turner at checkout, you will save 12% off your purchase. So again, a huge thank you to Lily Silk for working with me on this video, and let's get into it. My favorite luxury product that are very pricey. <laughs> so let me clarify this. You don't need to spend an exuberant amount of makeup for it to be good. You can get great things at the drugstore. I truly believe that. These are just specifically products that I have spent a lot of money on and I have no regrets. <laughs> so it was worth my money, but you know, like I said, it's not necessary, but guilty pleasures. Love these products. So the first one that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte's magic cream. Now the size that I have here is actually not the worst. I tend to buy mine in travel sizes or I'll get them with gifted with purchases as often as I can because the smallest size 30 milliliters is $64 which is crazy. From what I've heard this moisturizer isn't supposed to have that special of ingredients to warrant the price but I love 
love this moisturizer. I think it's so good. I think it's the perfect consistency to apply before makeup. So anytime I can catch a deal on this, I'm gonna pick it up. And if I run out, I have and will pay the normal prices. So I freaking love this moisturizer. I think it's the perfect consistency. It sinks into the skin so nice. It leaves my skin feeling so hydrated. I love it, love it, love it before makeup. I honestly believe it improves the appearance of my makeup. So it's one of those things where is it overpriced maybe, but I don't even care. It's still worth it for me. I love this moisturizer. The next product that I have is a makeup primer. This is from Gucci Beauty. Gucci is definitely one of the more pricier brands on the market. This is the Silk Priming Serum. Again, I typically prefer smoothing slash hydrating primers, and this is just perfect. It's one of my favorite kind of silky style primers right here. And I was looking at Sephora at the most expensive items. This one is up there. In terms of primers, there's not many more primers that compete with this price point. The glass is beautiful. The aesthetic of Gucci Beauty, I think in general, is just beautiful. But I really do believe that this improves the surface of my skin before I apply makeup. It has a really nice hydrating aspect about it, but it still leaves the skin feeling super smooth and silky. So I love this guy. I think it's awesome. It's definitely a luxury primer for sure, but it's so good. Obsessed with it. This is the most expensive foundation that I own, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When it comes to luxury foundation, when you get a good one, you get a good one and they, they can't be beat. You know, I have a lot of foundations that are fantastic. But there's a few very pricey foundations that are totally worth every penny. And one of them is this guy from La Mer. This is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. And I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you how beautiful this foundation was on the skin. Now this is $140. It's actually a bit light for me right now, but I'm not gonna buy a darker color. We're just gonna make it work anyways. <laughs> uh, so I have mine in the shade natural one too. And there's just something about this that I can tell that it's luxury and that I can't get it with any other foundation. The way that it sits on the skin is so natural and skin-like. It doesn't look too heavy, but it also isn't gonna give me super light coverage. It gives me that perfect medium coverage and the way that it wears and it sits on the skin. It continues to look great throughout the day. There's just something special about the way that this foundation sits on the skin. Again, do I think you need to spend $140 on a foundation? Absolutely not. You can get a great foundation for under $20. But even though it is $140, it is one of the prettiest foundations ever to sit on my skin. And I cannot deny that. And I only use this really for special occasions. And let me tell you, it was such a luxury to be able to use it today for this video. I'm loving the way my skin looks. I love the way my skin looks every time I wear this. It wears great for events. So... I'm happy I got to use it today and when I run out I will pick up a new one because I just I love it so much The next product that I have is from Chantecaille. Chantecaille is definitely one of the priciest brands And a lot of times you'll hear me say that their products while all of them are lovely I really have not tried a bad product from Chantecaille. I do think they're overpriced but this with the skin and complexion I just feel like that's something that you can't mess with and they're just skin tinted moisturizer truly amazing This is an $80 tinted moisturizer, but it's such a a beautiful tinted moisturizer, you guys. With Shantika, you can trust that they're going to be using great ingredients in their products for you, so that's what you're paying for there. But it sits beautifully on the skin, it wears beautifully, and I am very picky about tinted moisturizers just because I do have semi-problematic skin. I'm at a decent point right now, but you know, at different points of my life, I've struggled with pores, I've struggled with dryness, I've struggled with acne, acne scarring, all of that. So I've always been very picky about light coverage. This is beautiful. It actually gives a little bit more than light coverage. It sits on the skin beautifully. For it being a tinted moisturizer, it doesn't make me look super oily super quickly. So as I stated before, when it comes to complexion, I don't mess around. If I need to pay a little extra for a good, reliable complexion product that doesn't break me out, I'm happy to do so. So the Shantikai is definitely my favorite tinted moisturizer in my collection, for sure. I have been into tinted moisturizers more recently because I've cleared up the majority of my acne. So I've been enjoying that even more than usual. This concealer, honestly, I'm doubtful of anymore. So I kind of want to give you an update, especially in the beginning last year when this first launched and I bought it. I loved it. It was instantly one of my favorite concealers. This is the 
Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealers. A beautiful concealer. It has the perfect amount of coverage, the perfect finish. But I have owned this concealer for about a year now. And I'm noticing I don't feel it's as magical as it once was. So I really don't believe this has the longest lifespan. I'm starting to notice it looking a little bit more thick on the under eyes than it used to look. And it seeping into the lines of the under eyes more than it did. So my hesitation about putting this in this video is very big because I don't know that it has the longest lifespan. It is a $95 concealer. Yeah, I spent that much on it. And in the first, I want to say seven months, six, seven months that I had this, I regretted nothing and I really love this concealer. But now I have an eyebrow raise because for $95, I mean, I've had it for a year. I said, hmm, it says the lifespan on this is six months. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Not that the lifespan should dictate anything. For it being $95, dollars it, it should last at least a year i'm doubtful okay it was worth it in the first six months i'll give it that but just keep that in mind i wanted to update you after six months the ingredients something happens in there but when it was good y'all it was good i don't talk about this product too much but i really do love it this is my second one of it this is from la mer and this is the powder okay if that's a really cocky name but it is, it is the powder. This is $110. It comes in about the heaviest packaging you will ever feel in your life. It is such a powerful powder, okay? It lays it down. It sets your foundation in place. It looks really natural. It allows the glowiness of the product that you have underneath it to continue to show through. It's one of those powders where, yes, it sets the makeup down, but it holds the integrity of your foundation underneath. I mean, okay, there's so many good powders out there. You don't need to spend $110, but for me, such a special powder. I use this powder on my wedding day. It really helps the longevity of makeup. It doesn't overpower the makeup up and completely change the consistency and finish of the product that you have underneath and like I said it holds it down so I don't use it every day I'm not going to use a 110 powder in my everyday makeup routine but when I do use this it is such a a gem. Definitely a diamond out there on the market. I have preached my love for these many, many times, so you guys probably already know. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palettes. These guys come out at the end of the year, every year for the holidays. They are a whopping $80, but these actually, I would think, of this whole video is probably the best value because an individual hourglass powder, she's fancy. So this is somewhat of a value. Now, my favorite one that's ever come out was the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost Unlocked. I think this had the best combination of colors here. But that being said, I just feel like they don't go wrong with these palettes. Even though the one that came out this previous year, which you can still get, is the Lighting Edit Universe. I still love it. I still reach for it all the time. Hourglass powders truly cannot be beat. They look so natural on the skin for being powders. They glow beautifully in the sunshine. They look good in real life. You know how sometimes powders, like on camera and photography, they'll look really good, but in person, you, you look a little cakey, you look a little dry. These are good real life powders, and often they'll have a highlight, a couple blushes, a bronzer, and you get it all in these palettes. It's a semi-good value, and the powders blend beautifully onto the skin. They buff out so nice. It truly is just a luxurious experience to use these products, and they are worth every penny. And I've been telling you with some of these products, like, you can still get really great products at a much better price point. I haven't found powders that rival this. They're worth every penny. I'm about to show you a $75 bronzer. Now, you don't need to spend $75 on this bronzer. Luckily, you can get this on sale, but it is worth the full price point, in my opinion. This is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in the shade Terra, at least for my skin tone. I enjoy the shade Terra. This is a bronzer that blends out so beautifully. It gives enough color to really make you look like you got some color in the sun. It's super easy 
easy to use. It has a very even application. I find a lot of times with bronzers, they can look uneven on the skin. They can be darker in sunspots, lighter in sunspots. This one is so even on the skin, so beautiful. And I would pay $75 again for this, but luckily you can get this on sale a lot. So I'd maybe recommend that you don't you get it on sale. Cosmetic company store, Saks Off Fifth, you get lucky. But it's a beautiful bronzer and it's been a cult favorite for a long time by many people for that reason. All right, these blushes are ridiculous for what they are. They are not a luxurious experience, but the product itself is so beautiful. These are the Chantkai blushes. These tiny little things with non-intricate packaging at all, like super cheap, really lightweight, cost $42 each. That's crazy. But I just love the blushes so much that I'll buy them again. I'm currently wearing the shade Joy on my cheeks and I don't know, they're tiny little blushes. They have terrible packaging. Um, a peachier one that I also love is the shade Emotion, but there's something about the way that these lay on the cheeks, the way that they look, the way that they kind of morph in with your foundation, bronzer, and highlight. They have a good lasting power. The colors that they have in their collection are beautiful. It really is a luxurious blush formulations and I keep coming back for these blushes. They're amongst my very favorite formulas when it comes to blushes. So Chantakai killed it with these. Love these. They pricey, but I love them. Would I ever advise anybody to spend $60 on a highlight? Absolutely not. But Pat McGrath, that girl did it with the Bridgerton Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlight. I have mine in the shade Incandescent Gold. They also have the shade Extreme Gold. So you can tell that this is an expensive highlight just based on the embossment in the product itself. But this is such a beautiful highlight. It's definitely one of her best formulas. I have it on my cheeks today. She is glazed. She is glowy. She took a somewhat glittery highlight and made it elevated, made it luxurious. Like there's super microfine glitters in here, but it's not bad looking. It just looks so good and smooth on the skin. I can't get a finish like this with a drugstore highlighter. I just can't. This is so pretty. It definitely is a dramatic highlight. You know, it's not a seamless blend in with the skin natural kind of highlight, not at all, but it's a glowy and showy highlight that is elevated and is luxurious and I'd spend $60 on this all over again. And there are some really great highlighters out there on the market, but I love this one. Let's talk Charlotte Tilbury quads. Now the reason I'm featuring these in today's video is because value-wise they are some of the worst on the market just based on price per gram. However, she has a couple shades that just like blow my mind that I don't even care. So I don't actually recommend that you pick up a bunch of these quads. There's a small handful that are 1000% worth the price and there's a lot that simply are not and I would advise against you purchasing. But let's talk about the one that I'm currently wearing that you can get. You must try if you're interested and these are $53 each BT dubs. The Queen of Glow. This is the ultimate golden palette. The matte shade in here is so rich, so buttery, so pigmented, so blendable. The shimmers in here, so rich, so buttery, so shimmery, so glittery, so mmm, delicious, fantastic. Just everything I would want in an eyeshadow formula, the Queen of Glow contains and it also is really great on deeper skin tones as well. The other one that is a newer one is Pillow Talk Dreams. Like I said, not all of her quads are worth it, but these two are amongst my favorite that you're still able to get. Same deal with the super buttery mattes in here. The shimmers are a little bit different than what you're going to get in Queen of Glow. These are a little bit more kind of like silicone-y feeling, but they're so gorgeous on the eyelids. These two are definitely must-haves from the line if they are something that you're going to pick up. A couple more palettes that were worth every penny, and I'm not mentioning Pat McGrath in here, but of course you know. I very happily pay 120 something dollars for one of her palettes but they're, they're on sale all the time so I just didn't want to mention them because you can get Pat McGrath palettes on sale like 80% out of the year so that's why I'm not I'm not picking them but a brand that does not go on sale too often is Natasha Denona so of course I'm going to mention them one of my personal favorites that's worth it is the gold palette so these guys range in price Natasha Denona also does offer some more palettes 
palatable ways to buy her quality eyeshadows. She has her $27 eyeshadow palettes where you get five mini shades. She has her midi palettes, which I think are the best value of her brands. But sometimes she doesn't put them out in the midi format and they're like 120 something dollars like this one. But it's worth every penny because I think Natasha Denona probably has the best formula on the market for most people. I love Pat McGrath, but I don't think a Pat McGrath formula is for everybody. I think Natasha Denona's formula is for everybody. So that's kind of why, where I would recommend this. Natasha Denona has the best mattes and the best shimmers, period. She offers color stories for just about everybody. Gold one sticks true to my heart and it's the one I was feeling today, so I pulled this one for you. This palette I paid $150 for, but it's one of my most used and abused. This is a Viseart Grande Pro Volume 1. They now have a remastered one that you're able to get. It's called the 1X, so it's a bit different than the one I'm showing you today. But you can see she is loved, she is used, she is abused. Viseart has some of the best matte formulations on the market, super easy to use. It's a very pro-friendly brand, so maybe it's not the prettiest of packaging, but I absolutely love this palette because it has any neutral matte shade that you would need. This is more so of a palette that you reach for for certain colors. Oftentimes, I will grab into other palettes to get a shimmer on the lid, but there have been multiple occasions where I felt that I have needed colors from here. Obviously, as you can see, I mean, just quality-wise, the best. This is just a handy dandy palette that I always like to have on hand and I use all the time. And you know what? This palette also made me love all matte looks. You don't always need a shimmer. And it pains me to say that. But sometimes a matte look just looks so clean. And I get that with this. So yay. Next up, I have a $62 liquid liner. <laughs> That's embarrassing to say out loud, but this is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen, the best liquid liner I've ever used. Period, point blank. There's something about this, you guys. This formula never dries out. It has two ends, a small end to let you get really into detail here and a larger end. And there's something about the brush tip applicator as well that just makes it so easy and quick to get the most perfect wing. The formula is not too watery. It's the perfect amount of black. It lasts all day, it doesn't smudge, and you'll have it for such a long time. $62, I mean, mm, that hurts for an eyeliner, but I will say eyeliner is such a key product for your look, that for me, it's worth it. This is a must have in my collection at all times. The best liquid liner. So this is the cheapest product in today's video. And if I'm being 100% honest, you guys, I don't have lip products in this video except for this one because you don't need to pay a lot of money for lip products. I have very few lip items that I've spent so much money on that I'm like, oh, I do this all over again. I just, lip products is just not one of those categories for me. But this Dior lip oil is so good. It is $38, which sounds pretty cheap compared to the items that I've been mentioning today but for me this is one of those luxury items that is worth it i have mine in the shade rosewood this is the perfect all-purpose lip product it's conditioning it makes the lips look juicy it goes with every look you can layer it by itself you can layer it over other lip products it makes the lips look more plump it doesn't tingle it's just perfect and it's super duper hydrating 38 dollars is still a lot for a lip product and i don't think you need to spend a ton of money for lip products there are so many drugs or favorites that I have. But this is one where I'm like, it's worth every penny. So, so nice. So there we are, you guys. Those are my favorite luxury items that I've spent a ton of money on that I would do it all over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Is there any guilty pleasures that you have with luxury makeup that you want to share down below? I would love to hear it. No judgment over here. And again, a huge thank you to Lily So for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link down below to shop their anniversary sale. Don't forget to use my code. And yeah, thanks for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.